Good afternoon, good morning, good evening to you all. My name is Kuhn van Assa. I am the president of the World Kerlan Federation and welcome to this second General Assembly, which traditionally we start with a bell. So that's this one, but I know it doesn't sound that quite well on uh, um, this type of recordings. So as I said, this is the second General Assembly. Uh, we have um, had last Saturday the first General Assembly. Um, the videos of the guilds and the guild concerts are all already online on the YouTube channel of this Congress, uh, but not yet the um, official business but that will be uploaded uh, one of the days. Um, and you can find that YouTube link in the mail that you have had, I think yesterday or before, day before, um, explaining um, yeah, where you can find the YouTube link. So today we will have four more guilds to give their presentation. Um, presentation of what they have been doing the last four years and also the guild concerts and um, completely at the end of this general assembly in fact uh, when um, the official general assembly has been closed i will give um, the word to my colleague Luc Rombaux and he will give the results of the international composition competition, Matthias van Geem. Um, and of course, we are all very excited to hear uh, the results of that competition. And in fact, near the end of this session, we will also welcome more than 50 composers who are perhaps also a little bit curious who won uh, the competition. Uh, before I announce the four guilds uh, that we will hear, um, I want to explain something personal and um, it's about a couple who has attended from 1978 all congresses uh, together. Um, and yeah, in 2014, we had the World Caron Congress in Antwerp. Um, and I um, had the honor to be uh, the host of that Congress. Um, but I still uh, remember that um, yeah, we had a little bit difficult start because we started just after the um, Queen Fabiola Carolan competition. And it took the jury a lot of time to, um, yeah, to do the presentation of the results of that contest. And I arrived just a little bit too late in Antwerp from Mechelen for uh, all with all the material of the res registration desk. But I did find a very friendly couple at that room, and that was Carl and Marjorie Zimmermann. And Carl Zimmermann is already for a long time treasurer of the executive committee, so also treasurer of the World Caroline Federation. And yeah, it was very sad that we heard the news last week that his wife Marjorie passed away after being 55 years married. So from, yeah, it is strange to not to be able to be together and to give comfort to Carl, but I hope that everybody will uh, join me with giving all um, warm feelings to Carl. And we all have very warm remembrings uh, of memories um, from uh, Marjorie. So Carl, from all of us, we wish you yeah, um, 
or, or we give you all our warmth to deal with this very difficult period. Now on to the guilds concerts. So as I said, we will hear um, presentations and concerts from four guilds. And I will just give a short explanation of what we will hear from everyone or from all of these guilds. We start with the NS NSCK, so the Guild of the Northern Countries. And we will hear carols from uh, Norway, from Sweden, and from Denmark. And it will be their president, Vegar Samtholt, who will give the presentation of what they have been doing uh, the last four years. Uh, there is already something special that I can announce in name of uh, Vegar, of uh, the second piece that uh, we will hear. Um, which is a piece with the title The Sacredness of Trees by Alan Lindquist. And that piece um, has already been premiered in 2019, not only by Vegar, uh, but at the same time also um, from 16 Catalanists uh, worldwide. And uh, Vegar will send out uh, some more uh, news, but also an invitation to all Catalanists worldwide to play that piece in between the 30th of August and the 4th of September of uh, this year. Um, if you are interested to join, uh, you can uh, go to nsck.org and there you will find the explanation, you will find your composition. Um, and also what you have to do if you want to participate. And I suppose that Vegard will also uh, perhaps say something more in the chat box when we arrive to that piece. So this is an original uh, Carolan competition, but in fact, we will hear much more original Carolan compositions during this general assembly. For instance, also from our second guild, with is, which is the, the Polish Carolan Society. Um, so we will hear the Carolan of uh, Gdansk uh, with only uh, new uh, Carolan compositions from Polish composers. So that uh, will also be very special. Our third guild will be the, or is the Guild of Catalonia. And after the presentation of their uh, president, um, we will hear the Carolan of Barcelona and of course all of you who were there uh, at 2017, the World Carolan Congress in Barcelona. Um, they know what a beautiful place it is and it, it is a marvelous um, also listening place, so which we will also see in the video. And um, yeah, you will hear music together with trumpet, but also music a carol music with piano and uh, traditional Catalonian dances. So that will also be very special. And our fourth guild is the Flemish Carol Guild. Um, and also after the presentation of their president, we will hear um, a video concert um, that is made um, in a cooperation with the Royal Catalan School in Mechelen. So we will hear uh, mostly students um, and also students who uh, graduated uh, this year. But all the explanation uh, of all the videos, by the way, is also mentioned in the videos with the titles. So uh, it will be very easy to uh, follow everything. Um, so, for now, I would say sit back, relax, and enjoy all the concerts. And we will start now with the guild presentation and the concert of the NSEK. And then we see each other afterwards after all the concerts. It's a pleasure to greet you on behalf of the Nordic Society of Campanology and Carillon. We would really like to attend the Congress as it was planned by the GCNA. 
but we do hope and pray for better days to come for the world. It's mid-April, but the blizzard struck us, so it's winter time again here in Norway. So I think it's better to get inside for the presentation of the activities and plans of our guild. I want to point out to you the website nsck.org. Since we keep this and our Facebook site updated with information on all our activities and plans. Speaking about the instruments, until the last World Congress in Barcelona 2017, carillons existed in only three of our Nordic countries, Denmark, Norway and Sweden. It is a pleasure and a great joy to announce that Finland now has got its first carillon. This is a cooperation between Icebound's Bell Foundry and Supavit Numelin in Vanta, Finland, organist, carillon player and bell enthusiast. Sweden have 15 carillons. Norway had 12 carillons. The first one was built in 1922 to Stavanger Cathedral. And next year we can celebrate 100 years. Therefore, we are working on the restoration of this instrument with a new keyboard, automatic system, and to add one more boredom bell. Denmark has got 30 instruments. Many of you know Lögum Kloster Karadon. It will celebrate 50 years in 2023. So there's a plan for restoration of both the Karadon and the tower. The instrument will also be expanded up to 63 bells. There's also a major project planned for 2022 in Gringstead Church, a new instrument of 61 bells. Aulum Church will have an instrument of 27 bells, maybe next year, maybe the year after. And St. Maria Church in Helsingør will have a new instrument of 48 bells. Concerning the traveling caravan, it's now handed over to Lars Beck Nielsen, but the website remains the same. Nordiccarillon.dk. Our country has also got a great number of automatic instruments and chimes. Publications. A bulletin, Acta Camponologica, have been published twice a year through almost all the history of our guild. On our website you will find a complete list of all the articles in Acta, many of them with an English summary. And Peter Smith Müller is doing a great job as the editor of the bulletin. Publishing Canon music is mainly a private initiative by the composers, and therefore music is to be found on different publishers. Several pieces are available for free on our website. And if music are available by other publishers, we will inform you about this under the news section. Some of you know the composition of The Sacredness of Trees by Ellen Inquist. It was commissioned by Nordic Music Days 2019 for Boulder Cathedral Carillon. I did the first performance of this piece, but at the same time the music was performed by several colleagues around the world. This piece will soon be available for both three and four octo carillons at Norsk Musikforlag. Composers and pieces mentioned will be a part of our Guild concert during this Congress. A new book for Carillon students at the Scandinavian Carillon School and elsewhere are also made by Per Rasmus Möller. Concerning the Carillon School, Peter Langberg and Per Rasmus Möller are the two teachers at the school. Today there are four students at the school, but several more are up for the next term. There are also plans for Carillon lessons for students at the Norwegian State Academy of Music to evoke interest for the art of playing the Carillon among Norwegian musicians. This might also be an introduction to further studies at the Carillon School. Thanks to those who worked hard to prepare the Congress that should be taken place last year, and to those preparing the online Congress this year. We are also grateful for all the work laid down by the board of our mothership, the World Carillon Federation. With the small Carillon nations, the WCF and the Congresses are most important and inspiring. Thank you.
We are colleagues and friends. From the Confraria de Campaners y Carrillonistes of Catalonia, we make every effort to achieve a good development of the Carrillon in our land. With the organization of the last World Carrillon Congress in Barcelona and in other locations of Catalonia, we also began a new era with new Carrillon projects. We have created, for example, in our guide, the Carrillon Commission in charge of Ana Maria Reverte. This commission is working on two major projects. The Carrillon of Life project, in response to all this COVID time we are living, and the Carrillon Concerts project and Carrillon training stage around the famous meeting of bell ringers that is held every year in the Catalonian village of Os de Balaguer. In addition to these two major projects, work is also being done for the Carrillons of Vila de Cans, Terrassa and Belloc, as well as with the Bishofric of Barcelona. Meanwhile, from the Carrillon of the Palace of the Generalitat de Catalunya, set of the Catalan government in Barcelona, and which obviously many of you already know very well, have been offered within the annual Carrillon concert season from September to July, regular concerts every first Sunday of the month, as well as other extraordinary ones for the Barcelona Festival of September, the celebrated St. Stephen's Day on December, and the concerts of the Barcelona International Carrillon Festival, which has also brought Carrillonists from Australia, the Netherlands, France, Belgium and Norway. The combined concerts within these concert seasons have also been very remarkable. Since the last World Carillion Congress in 2017, we have had concerts combining the Carillion with the trumpet, with the sinister, with pre-recorded sounds, with battery, with piano and dance, with clarinet and with electronics. Also, with Carrillon for hands. We also want to highlight especially the premiere of a unique combination and world premiere, which offered us the remembered and beloved Gilda Stella Port in Peace Rest, offering us an exquisite selection of classic French poems set to music by himself and also sung and accompanied by himself on the Carrillon. Extraordinary. In the section of Pies for Carillon in World Premier, we have had since the last World Carillon Congress Beure Neu Esmaco for Carillon and Synthetizer by Antonio Laf Sabaté, Ten Pace for Carillon and Pre-recorded Sounds by Ana Maria Reverte, Six Caves for Carillon Soprano and Electronic Track by Australian Jess Wells. And finally, a new arrangement especially remarkable, The Rhapsody in Blue, by George Sherwin, in the version for Carrillon and Clarinet. The Concert for Clarinet and Orchestra, by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, in the version for Carrillon and Clarinet. Internationally, it has participated in World Project Helling Bells, by Pamela Reuter, Frenster and Jet Schoften to commemorate those who have suffered and died from the COVID pandemic in 2020. World Carrillon Project by David Sherry with New York Radio and the New Suns Channel with a new piece for Carrillon in 2021. Let me also tell you that the Carrillon of the Palace currently has more than 1,600 people registered who have specifically asked to receive regular information about the Carrillon concerts. Plus 1,000 more people we had registered to receive information by postmail. Plus all those who do not register, but who they also come to. Also, our secretary, Blai Siurana, a student at the Escola Superior de Música de Catalunya, is working hard for the Carrillon, 
as well as for the final project on the teaching of the Carrillon. And we also have another graduate of the school, Marc Vidal, who is also very familiar with the instrument. In addition to many other interested people who hope to one day see a school of Carrillon and other instruments in our country. In short, very good activities and also a very good future and a very good job yet to be done. Thanks.
Beste Bejaarsvrienden, mijn naam is Wim van den Broek en ik mag sedert een tweetal jaar voorzitter zijn van de Vlaamse Bejaarsvereniging. Helaas is mijn voorzitterschap, zoals de meeste bij jullie, een klein beetje overschaduwd geweest door COVID-19. En ik wil vooral op dit moment even hulde brengen aan die mensen die heel belangrijk waren voor de Bejaarsgemeenschap, die we hebben verloren aan COVID-19. Het zij professioneel, het zij hobbymatig. Ik wil vooral hen op deze manier eventjes hulde brengen. Belangrijke realisaties in Vlaanderen, kwestie van instrumentarium. Er zijn drie grote voorbeelden van nieuwe bijaarden die het levenslicht zagen in de laatste vijf jaar. Uh, en dan kijk ik in eerste instantie naar Aardschops. In de, onze Lieve Vrouwenkerk is een bijaard gerealiseerd van 51 klokken. Met een gewicht van 5347 kilogram. De abdij van Park in Leuven, een schitterende en prachtige omgeving. Daar is een bijaard gebouwd van 40 klokken met een gewicht van 10.636 kilogram. Ook is er een nieuwe mobiele bijaard geconcipeerd, de toerbijaard van Jan Verheij, met een gewicht van 1.300 kilogram. Natuurlijk hebben we ook mensen nodig om die bijaard te bespelen en deze mensen moeten opgeleid worden. En dan kijken we naar de bijaardschool in Mechelen, de Koninklijke Bijaardschool in Mechelen. En daar hebben we toch wel gemerkt dat de laatste jaren er heel veel jonge studenten afgestudeerd zijn. En met jong bedoel ik van 16 jaar en ouder, die een fantastisch niveau hebben kunnen behalen, waardoor de bijaardopvolging in Vlaanderen absoluut verzekerd is. Examens, opleidingen, er is ook een wedstrijd geweest, de Fabiola wedstrijd 2019. Die, je ook, ah, die we toch mogen stellen dat die ook gekenmerkt werd door heel veel deelnemers van heel jonge leeftijd. Uh, de finale was schitterend, met prachtig opgeleide werken en het uh, behaalde niveau al daar was prachtig. Ik zou graag mijn bestuur aan u, uh, aan u willen voorstellen. Waarom wil ik dat zo doen? Omdat elk bestuurslid zich eigenlijk een klein beetje bezighoudt met een aparte doelstelling binnen de Vlaamse PR-vereniging. Zo graag starten met Jacob. Jacob is de man achter Salvator. Salvator is een bekende website waar we bewerkingen en composities met elkaar kunnen delen. Jacob is de ontwikkelaar van onze nieuwe website. Hij heeft een nieuwe website gebouwd, die zal waarschijnlijk nu al online staan. Um, deze website gaat ons enorm veel troeven aanbieden in de toekomst. Um, we zijn ook bezig met een project waar we alle Vlaamse bijaarden willen inventariseren. Beeld, klank, info en dergelijke. De website zal daartoe het echte fundament vormen. Lorenz Mulbroek, stadsbijaard die van Dendermonde, is de man die onze grootschalige projecten coördineert. Wat wil dat zeggen? Dat we regulier voor gezamenlijke acties met alle Vlaamse bijaardiers bepaalde liederen spelen of een bepaald thema spelen om een bepaalde actie te ondersteunen. Dit vraagt logistiek en organisatorisch redelijk wat uh, tijd en eigenlijk handkracht en Lorenz neemt dat volledig op zich. Wat maakt dat we door heel veel acties eigenlijk uh, bij het landschap, nationale tv en nationale radio, toch wel wat op de kaart hebben kunnen zetten. Koen Koolzaart, u allen wel bekend als directeur van de Bijaardschool in Mechelen. Uh, Koen uh, houdt zich voornamelijk bezig met de website en zorgt ervoor dat er een goede evenwicht is tussen wetenschappelijke artikelen en anderzijds human interest verhalen. Human interest, wat bedoelen we daarmee? Verhalen over mensen die zich ook bezighouden met, met Bijaard. Uh, en we willen deze mensen absoluut ook in het daglicht plaatsen. Koen doet dit samen met François van der Joost. Chris van Messen is dé man van de layout. Uh, diegenen die het nieuwe magazine al hebben kunnen ontvangen of hebben kunnen zien, zullen merken dat Chris uh, fantastisch onderlegd is om een heel aantrekkelijk magazine uit te geven. Heel aantrekkelijk voor de kenner, maar ook heel aantrekkelijk voor de liefhebber en voor de amateur. Dina Vrijden is onze secretaris. Dina is ook leerkracht aan de Bijartschool. Um, heeft soms wat de ondankbare taak om he, de administratie te moeten doen, verslagen te moeten schrijven. Dus we zijn Dina heel dankbaar dat ze die taak toch ter harte blijft nemen. Last but not least, Lili en André. Uh, Lili en André zijn denk ik de meest frequente bijartbezoekers uh, in Vlaanderen. Uh, ik, durf, ik durf zo te zeggen, wereldwijd. En het zijn zij die zich voornamelijk bezighouden met alle financiële aspecten van uh, onze organisatie. Ik dank u voor uw aandacht.
Well, I think that everyone will agree with me that we have heard uh, four special concerts, different styles, uh, very nice music arrangements, a lot of new music, Carolan Plus, with so many uh, different Carolans. Um, so uh, thank you everyone who uh, participated, all the Carolanists and all the persons who made this possible. Uh, speaking about new compositions, of course, it is very important that we uh, invite a lot of uh, composers to discover our instrument. And speaking about that, I want to give now the word to our colleague Luc Rombouts, who organized together with Campana Lovaliensis in Leuven an international uh, composition competition for Carolan celebrating 300 years of Matthias van den Rijn. So, Luc, go ahead. Thank you very much, Kuhn. I will show a PowerPoint presentation. Share my screen. And I hope everybody will be able to see now my presentation. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. Um, so at the occasion of the uh, third century of uh, Matthias van den Gein, uh, the Leuven Kerdon and Bell Association Campana Lovenienses organized a composition and arrangement contest. And um, I will show the results uh, in this presentation. Um, these are the um, institutions that uh, funded the um, contest and which I will uh, thank for the support. The city of Leuven, the Flemish community, the University of Leuven, the city of Tienen, the Norbertine Fathers of Park Abbey, the concert organization Kalsik in the Kapel from Tienen, the Singing Bronze Foundation and the Royal Mechelen Baird School, Kerlon School. Some figures first. Um, in total, uh, we received 62 submissions from 14 countries from uh, 54 candidates. So eight uh, people sent in um, submission as well for the first category as for the second category. For the first category, an original composition, we received uh, 33 um, two submissions from 12 countries. And from the second category, an arrangement of a Baroque piece, we received 30 submissions from eight countries. This is a jury. Um, so it was partly a composer's jury. I suppose you don't know uh, these pictures of the persons on the pictures, so I will show the names. Michael Finnessy from the UK, Anthony Romaniuk from Australia, Leo Salama from the Netherlands and Annelies van Parijs from Belgium. And the second part of the jury was a uh, carrioneurs jury. And I suppose you know all these people very well, but nevertheless, I will show you their names too. Stefano Coletti, Kuhn Kozaert, Monika Kazmierczak and Tiffany Ng. Um, the assessment principles in general, the members of the jury didn't know and still don't know the names of the candidates, so it's anonymous. They also didn't know until a few days ago each other, so there was no deliberation. They gave uh, 10, 7, 5, 3 or 1 point for the um, submissions of their preference, there was no deliberation. And in each of the two categories, the top three is a prize winner. And the submissions of the, uh, which ranked top five, will be published by Campanae Lovaniensis. I think my presentation is blocked now. Okay. So the first category was assessed by both uh, parts of the jury, the composers and the carrioneurs. Um, it was an original composition for Kerlin that was 
asked for of five minutes to 12 minutes maximum for a medium to heavy kiln of uh, four octaves, equal temperament tuning. And the theme was an aspect of cosmology. In the framework of the Leuven City Festival Knal, the Leuven Big Bang Festival, uh, that will honor the Belgian professor Georges Lemaitre, the founder of the theories of the Big Bang and the expansion of the universe. He is on the picture below. And uh, to be sure that you have the right person uh, identified as Professor Lemaire, that's him. Okay, let's uh, go now for the results. The fifth place, so that's not a prize, but it will be published. Published um, was awarded to a composition consisting of colorful parts, nine colorful parts, containing many beautiful moments and well spaced in the tone spectrum of the kernel. And this Big Bang uh, composed by Jo Koenen, a composer from Belgium. Fourth place, also no prize, but publication. A musical representation of the idea of the expansion of the universe with a nice development of rhythmical cells. Most idiomatic for the Kerenon. The title is also Expansion. It was composed by Joey Brink from the USA. Then, third prize, 500 euros, for a very interesting musical representation of the cold environment of the cosmos using a palette of variety techniques, such as modal and dodecaphonic tonalities. The title of the composition is Boomerang Nebula, and the composer is our Australian colleague, Thomas Lauer. Second prize, 1,000 euro, and also publication. An impressive piece of Kerelon that makes effective use of the brilliance of the bell sound over the whole range of the Kerelon in a successful attempt to evoke in music the visual image of the fire bird, the mythical bird of the south in Chinese astrology. The title is The Vermilion Bird of the South and the composer is Belgian composer and pianist Jeroen Malaise. And finally, first prize, 2,000 euros and publication um, for a piece that, is, that both meets all artistic expectations and is accessible for the public. It makes effective use of the difference in decay time of the bass bells and the treble bells in order to give a nicely blended result. One aspect of cosmology evoked in a colorful neo impressionistic language. Halos by Geert Dollander. Congratulations to all. Let's go now to the second category, an arrangement of a Baroque work. Um, it had to be an autonomous work, so not a single part from a suite or a Sonata or Concerto. Um, allowed was uh, one or several pieces from a larger collection of didactical pieces and so on. So the uh, arrangement had to be adapted to the limitations of the Baroque replica Carillon and Park Abbey in Leuven. So mean tone, uh, three octaves and a half, and a pedal that goes up to E and not to G. So, fifth place, publication for an arrangement very suitable for the Kerelon and respectful uh, to the original work. A selection from Pièce de Clavecin, Premier Livre, by Pancras Royer, arranged by Richard de Waard from the Netherlands. Fourth place, also publication, no price yet, but publication. 
for a nice arrangement, arrangement from a rock in the French harpsichord style with a number of good solutions to turn the original rock into idiomatic caravan music. Suite for harpsichord in D minor by Elisabeth Claude Jacquet de la Guerre, arranged by Tom Gorin from the USA. And now the three prizes. Third prize, 500 euros and publication. For an arrangement of a work of John Sebastian Bach. In total, there were seven uh, John Sebastian Bach arrangements. One of them received, so the prize, the third prize, it is an engage, engaging arrangement with good, good voice leading and practical distribution of the middle voice of a manual and pedal. So a French style Bach arrangement. The second French suite by Bach arranged by Roy Cruzen from the Netherlands and the USA, let's say. Second prize, 750 euros and publication. Um, many carriers know and play one or two pieces from this extensive suite. But after this competition, the complete work will be available in a great arrangement. arrangement. It is the Suite for Hartzikort number one by Joseph Hector Fioco, arranged by Geert Dolander. And first prize, finally, 1,500 euros and publication. Up to now, we had four works for harpsichord from the late Baroque. This first prize goes to an arrangement of a work for the violin from the early Baroque. It is a, trans a transparent and highly idiomatic arrangement, a piece that directly invites you to play it. It is a sonata for violin solo, opus 16, number 12, by Isabella Leonarda, a female composer from Italy from the end of the 17th century, arranged by Thomas Lowe, first prize of the arrangement section. As extra bonus, the two first prizes we will get this statue. This is the clock jack of Leuven, um, Master John, Meester Jan. And so the, the first prize winners will get this statue, at least a small replica of it. Next steps, um, I will play the uh, prize winning compositions on the 2nd of October. October at 4 p.m. Uh, in the premiere on the festival 2021. It, uh, um, it will also live streamed. And the uh, five winning pieces will be played several times during the Canal Festival uh, honoring uh, Georges Lemaitre. Uh, also in October, uh, the first, first ranked submissions will be published and distributed for free uh, in a PDF version by Campana Lovanienses. The Baroque pieces will be uh, played and published and distributed in spring uh, 2022. More details will follow on this. So thank you everybody for participating, um, the, 40, the, the 54 um, uh, authors of the submissions. Congratulations to the prize winners. And I want to thank again the founding partners or funding partners of the competition. You see them on the slide once again Flemish Community, the cities of Leuven and Tienen, the University of Leuven, the Royal Kern School, Jeff de Nijn at Mechelen, the Forest Novertines of Park Abbey, the Tienen Concert Organization, Classic in the Capel, and the Singing Bronze Foundation uh, based in Aston, the Netherlands. 
And uh, to conclude, I would like to um, launch a kind reminder to all the carriers in this meeting um, to contribute to the Van den Geen 300 challenge by playing at least one work, Kerelman work or keyboard work, uh, by Matthias van der Geen on your instrument or on another instrument. Before the end of this year, we would like to have 300 instruments in total uh, celebrating 300 years of Van der Geen. We are almost halfway now. We, it's, I think, 135 or so. So we have still a long way to go. Um, if you play Van der Geen, just send a mail to info at vdgvdg300.be. Thank you very much. Have a nice continuation of the Congress. Have a good night. Have a good afternoon. Bye bye. Thank you, Luc. Um, this was a real a thrilling moment to see <laughs> the uh, results. And I think, Luc, you will have a very nice time studying all those pieces. So we wish you all good luck. But of course, uh, congratulations to all. Uh, persons who uh, contributed to this contest and of course won the prizes. We are looking forward to uh, see the music and to be able to study all this wonderful new music. Um, so this is the end of this second General Assembly, but I want to invite you to our third General Assembly, which is next Saturday, next week, same place, same time. Then we will have the presentations of Russia, of Wallonia, of the British countries and of the Netherlands. And we will also have already a video, a preview uh, for our next uh, World Carolan Congress in Utrecht in 2023. So for now, uh, good morning to Australians. Good afternoon for all our Americans, a good evening to all our European colleagues and see you soon.